What is going on everybody, welcome back to the CU04 YouTube channel. Just a quick update from me before we get into the 5 minute preview. Um, there will be a timestamp below if you want to just skip into it. But I am in the process of moving house over the next coming weeks. Um, I will be moving to Carlisle and I'm also um, going on a holiday in the next couple of weeks. So everything's just a bit all over the place here in the CU04 household. So that's why there's been a bit of a delay with these videos but they'll be back to normal schedule soon. What is going on everybody, welcome back to the 5 minute preview, it is Carlisle United versus Oxford United on Saturday the 12th of August, tomorrow, 3 o'clock kickoff at the Kazam Stadium, um, Paul Simpson obviously well known at Oxford for his time there, and probably get a good reception from them, it's going to be a very interesting match this one, I think this is a game where if Carlisle are wanting to stay up and to prove that they can have enough, these are the type of games that we need to be going away and getting something from. Um, in my opinion anyway. We're moving into a little bit of a closer look into the um, two teams. And Oxford were founded in 1893. Their cover manager is Liam Manning. And their stadium is the Kazam Stadium. Which holds 12,500 people. Mile to mile from stadium to stadium is 271 mile. A figure that Carlisle are going to have to get used to this season. Because there's a lot of southern teams. Last year they finished 19th in League 1 and this year they currently sit 20th in League 1. Um, so you can't, as I say, going to get used to these mileage, but we've got about 650 tickets sold, which is great. Looking at Oxford then, their previous five games, they had pre-season against Swansea, which they won 1-0. They then lost 4-1 to um, Bristol City in pre-season and finished their pre-season with a fanatic 5-0 win over QPR. Before the league started last season, they got beat 2 0 against Cambridge. Cambridge won that game quite comfortably in the end. And then they took a battering on Tuesday night in the Carabao Cup. Bristol City 5, Oxford 1. So Oxford are coming to this game in poor form. Carlisle aren't in the best of form, but Oxford's form is a little bit worse than our form. Um, obviously, we're coming off that 1 uh, 0 loss to Harrogate, which we need to respond from because that was poor. <laughs> really poor. Um, so we're looking for a response and obviously that 1-1 draw against Fleetwood we looked pretty good didn't create a lot in front of goal but as you can see there Oxford leaking goals against Bristol City and Cambridge so hopefully we can get our goal scoring back on track look at our head to head then Carlisle have 4 wins against 3 losses and 1 draw there Carlisle's last game um, against Oxford was back in 2016 where we won 2-0 in League 2 1-1 draw 2-0 win then we lost back to back games 2-1 going all the way back to 2005 there um, may we add and then 2004-2003 we lost 2-0 and then we won 2-1 in League Division 3 so that says how far back that goes but there is the squad now uh, Carl will have just signed the goalkeeper, so he will be added to that team sheet for the Wigan game. This um, I edited this on Wednesday night, so a few things have changed there. Oxford play to watch for me is that Ruben Rodriguez. I think he looks a quality player, the Portuguese international. I've picked out Moxon, but I think Moxon's going to be injured for the game. Um, so I think we, we could we, we, we could be focusing on the new goalkeeper. Will he start? Thomas Holly keep his place. My prediction for the game, though, is a 1-0 win for Carlisle. I think Oxford's form isn't the greatest, and we can go and hopefully nick an early goal and sort of settle the game from there. This is the team I've went with. We've got Thomas Holly, Nets, John Melly, Sam Lavelle, and Paul Huntington as a back three. Jack Armour and Finn back as a back five. I think that back five is very solidified for the season, I would hope. Callum Guy, now in boxing in midfield. Now, as mentioned, I think Moxon is either sick or uh, has a sickness bug or he's injured. So, Owen Moxon likely would not be playing. Um, um, I'd probably I'd probably take Daniel Maguire in there instead. Um, I would put Dan Butterworth in the attacking midfield role. He he played uh, against Harrogate and looked lively. Then I went with a, from, uh, a forward two of Joe Garner and Luke Plange. Now I think that could be anyone really. Edmondson could start. Sean Maguire probably won't start for the minutes, but it could be anyone. So there is my full team on the bench. I've got Gabe Rees, Jack Robinson. Sean Maguire, Corey Whelan, Ryan Edmondson, Dylan McGrath, but he could very possibly start in replace of Owen Moxon. And I've also got Alfie McCarmont in there. You can see the other fixtures on your screen there. The um, League 2 prediction video will be live a little bit later on today. What is your prediction for the starting AI? Who would you start up front is the main question. 
Uh, would you keep holding your net? Let me know. What's your prediction for the game as well? Let me know in the comments down below. As I say, uh, sorry that the schedule's been a bit all over the place. I will get it back to normal. The Wigan preview will be live on Monday. And then the Exeter preview will be live on Wednesday. Shirt of the Week will, of course, debut on Tuesday because you guys said you wanted it, so you will get it on Tuesday. But for now, thank you for watching. I've been CU04, and I'll see you in the next one.